name is Sarika Tulsiani and today in this video we will be solving problems on permutation combinations which will be with respect to digits or the number problems as we call it. Now let's start with the first question. What does it say? How many three digit numbers can be formed using the numbers 1 to 5 provided the repetition is allowed, the repetition is not allowed. So what do we have to do? We have to make three digit numbers. Okay? Options available are 1 to 5. And they are also saying repetition is allowed, repetition not allowed. Now understand, we have to make three digit numbers. Correct? Now what are they saying? You have how many options? You have five options. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The first question is repetition is allowed. Now let's understand, suppose if I tell you for the first position, how many options do I have? I can place 1 here, I can place 2 here, 3 here, 4 here, 5 here. So I can place any of the numbers. So I have 5 options. Out of the 5 options, I will select any one option. Okay? Now for the second position, how many options do I have? Repetition is allowed. Correct? So for the second position also I can place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, any number. So again I have 5 options. I will select 1. Okay? Now for the third position. Similarly, repetition is allowed. So I can put any one of the 5 numbers. So again 5C1. So what will this become? This will be 5 into 5 into 5. So that is 125. So this is your answer if the repetition is allowed. Now they are saying, what if the repetition is not allowed? Then how do we solve it? We go, again, you have to form a three digit number. For the first digit, I can place one, I can place two, three, four, five. Okay? So I have five options, I will select any one. Suppose I use the number three. Okay? Three chala gaya. Now for the second position, how many options do I have? So for the second position, I can place one, 2, 4 or 5. So I have only 4 options because the repetition is not allowed. Okay. So let's say I place 2 here. So I had 4 options. I picked 1. Now for the third position. Okay. 3 is gone. 2 is gone. So I can place 1. I can place 4. I can place 5. So how many options I have? I have 3 options and I will select any 1. So what is my answer? 5C1 into 4C1 into 3C1. Why are we multiplying? Because we need to find a number for the first position also, second position also and the third position also. It's not that ki first liya and second nahi liya to chalega. One or two or three is not the case. It is first number and second number and third number. So we need all three digits. Whenever there is an and, you will multiply. So this will be 5 into 4 into 3. So 20 into 3, my answer becomes 60 ways. So that's my answer. Now let's look at the next question. What does it say? How many combinations of 5 digit numbers divisible by 3 can be made using the digit 0 to 5 without repetition? So we have to make 5 digit numbers which are divisible by 3 these are the numbers and they are also saying without repetition. How do we solve this problem? We have to make 5 digit numbers. Okay? Numbers available are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They are also saying the number should be divisible by 3 and without repetition. Now when is a number divisible by 3? A number is divisible by 3 when the addition of the digits is divisible by 3. So, for example, if my number is 729, 7 plus 2 is 9, 9 plus 9 is 18, 18 is divisible by 3, so this number is also divisible by 3. So, that is how you solve it. But we have to make 5 digit numbers. Okay? Now, if I just add all the digits, let's see how the addition comes. 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15. So the addition of all the numbers comes out to be 50. So one combination which is possible is 0 does not matter, right? 
So what I can do is I can take these values. So I can have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Why? Because the addition comes out to be 15. Now what are we supposed to do? We have to arrange all the numbers. Okay? So you can use combination or you can use permutation also. See, these are the digits I have selected. Okay? I have to arrange all of them. So five numbers can be arranged in five positions in 5P5As. Five, five numbers, five positions. So this becomes 5 factorial. 5 factorial is nothing but 120. So this is one possibility where I chose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But I could, could have chosen different digits also. Now if we choose different digits, what happens? Look, 15 is divisible by 3. If my addition comes out to be 14, when will my addition be 14? If I eliminate 1, my addition will come out to be 14. Okay? But 14 is, so how will I get 14? So I'll have 0, 2, 3, 4, 5. That will give me 14. But this is not divisible by 3. Right? Similarly, if I take 13, it will not be divisible by 3. But if I take 12, it will be divisible by 3. 15 may I took all the numbers. Okay? So if I have to come down to 12, I will have to eliminate 3. So my numbers will be 0, 1, 2, 4, 5. Okay? This is the other combination possible. Now understand, I want to make 5 digit numbers. My numbers are 0, 1, 2, 4, 5. For the first position, how many options do I have? See, I understand. I can take 1, I can take 2, I can take 4, I can take 5. I cannot take a 0 because if I put a 0 here, it becomes a 4 digit number. Okay? So for the first position, I have 4 options. So 4C1. Let's say I pick the number 1. 1 is gone. Okay? Now for the second position, how many options do I have? Now 0 can also come. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Now I have 4 options again. Let's say I picked a 0. So this came here. So for the third position, can I say I have three options? So three options, two options and one option. So what will I do? I will multiply all of them. So this will be 4 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So my value will be 16, 3 is a 48, 48, 2 is 96. Now let's see further. Is there any other combination possible? 15 ho gaya, 12 ho gaya. After 12, we will have to come down to 9. Correct? I have to subtract 3 more. That means if I have to come from 15 to 9, I will have to subtract 6. But understand, that means I have to subtract 2 numbers. So say for example, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? If I have to come down to 9, 15 say 9 tak, I will have to subtract 2 numbers. So let's say I subtract 5 and 1. I eliminated 6. So that is 4 plus 3 is 7 plus 2 9. But what is happening? I am having only 4 digits. 1, 2, 3, 4. I am having only 4 digits. But I have to make a 5 digit number. So I cannot make a 5 digit number with any other combination. Do you understand why? Because if I come down to 9, I have to eliminate 2 numbers which is not possible. So my final answer will be 120 plus 96. Why plus? Because either we will go for this combination or we will go for this. Okay, this or this. So 120 plus 96. So my final answer becomes 216. So this is how you approach this problem. Now let's look at the next problem. What does it say? How many three digit numbers can be formed using the given numbers which are divisible by 5 provided Repetition is not allowed. So you have to make three digit numbers. Keeping in mind they should be divisible by five. Also the repetition should not be allowed. So these are three important conditions. Okay? So you want to form a three digit number. The options available are two, three, five, seven, nine and eight. Now understand one thing. When is a number divisible by five? A number is divisible by 5 when the unit digit is 5 or a 0. Correct? Now we don't have a 0 here. So can I say strictly my unit digit has to be 5. Only then my number will be divisible by 5. 
They are also saying repetition is not enough. So I had one five, I placed it here. Okay. So this can be done in only one way. I had one five, I placed it here. Now let's talk about the first position. How many options do I have? I can place two, three, seven, nine, eight. So I have five options. Out of the five options, I will select any one number. Let's say I selected two. So two is also gone. Now for the second position, how many options do I have? I can place 3, 7, 9, 8, any number. So I have 4 options, I will select any one. Correct? So I have to place the first number and the second number and the third number. So I will multiply. So 5C1 is 5, 4C1 is 4, 1 is 1. So your answer becomes 20 ways. So this is how you approach the problem. Now let's have a look at the next problem. How many numbers between 50,000 and 60,000 can be formed using the digits 2 to 7 provided repetition is allowed? Okay? So you have to form numbers between 50,000 and 60,000. So that starts from 50,001 up to 59,999. Okay? From this to this, you can take any number. Now, they are saying between these two, using the digits 2 to 7. So, I have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, provided the repetition is allowed. Okay? Now, 50,000 to 60,000, between them. So, how many digits do we have? We have 5 digits. Correct? We have 5 digits. Okay? Now, if I want my number between these two, Right? from 50,001 to 59,999 what should be my first digit? Deco, you want it between 50 and 60 that means inclusive of these numbers so can I say strictly my first number has to be 5 only because 50,001 say 59,999 ke beech mein hi hona inclusive of these two numbers so for my first number has to be only 5 and they are saying repetition is allowed that's fine so this can be done in only one way. Okay? There is only one way because only 5 can come here. So 5 is gone. Let's talk about the second number like which number can come. Now they are saying repetition is allowed. So I can even place 5 again here. So I can place 2 here, 3 here, 4 here, 5 here, 6 here, 7 here, any number. So how many options do I have? I have 6 options. So out of the 6 I will select any one. Again, for the third position, I have all six options because repetition is allowed. So again 6C1, again 6C1, again 6C1. And the first one was one way. So my value will be 6 into 6 into 6 into 6, which is 6 raised to 4. 6 raised to 4 is 36 square. 36 square comes out to be 1, 2, 9, 6. So this becomes your answer. Now, let's look at another question. What does it say? How many four digit numbers divisible by four can be formed using the given digits provided repetition is not allowed? Okay? So you have to make the four digit numbers. Okay? You have to keep in mind that it should be divisible by four. Also the numbers are one, two, three, four, five. Now when is the number divisible by four? A number is divisible by four when the last two digits are divisible by 4. So it should be a combination. Like say for example 12, 16, 20, 24. If the last two digits are divisible by 4, then the entire number is divisible by 4. Now how many ways are there or how many combinations are there in which we get a pair of numbers which are divisible by 4? Because the first number could be 0, 4, 0, 8. But I don't have a 0 here. I don't have an 8 here. So 4 and 8 is not possible. Abhi 12, 4 ke table mein, after 4, 8, I have a 12. 12 is possible. So I'll write 12. Okay? 16 is not possible. 20 is not possible. Next number is 24, which is possible. So 24. Now 28 is not possible. 32 is possible. Correct? 36 is not possible because I don't have a 6. 40 is not possible. 44 is not possible, 48 is not possible, repetition not allowed. Next number after 48 will be 52. 52 possible, yes, 
56 not possible 60 now 56 onwards like you know for example you have 60 then 64 and 68 they, they are not possible because I don't have a 6 so further no pair is possible so how many pairs do I have I have four pairs now let's focus on the first pair let's say 12 so strictly I should have one here and two here okay strictly so this should, can be done in only one way. This can also be done in only one way. Okay? I have one one. I have one two. So wo chala gaya. Now if these two numbers are gone, how many options do I have? I have three options. I have three, four or five. So for the first position, I have three or four or five. So out of the three numbers, I will select any one number. Let's say I picked three. So for the second position, I can have four or five. So how many options? Two options. So that will be 2. C1 into 1 into 1. So 3 into 2 will give me 6 ways. Right? So if for 12, they go, I had 6 ways. If my last two digits were 12, I had 6 ways. Can I say for 24 also, I will have 6 ways? Same process. 24, 3 ways, 2 ways. Here also I will have 6 ways. Here also I will have 6 ways. Now my last two digits can be 12 or 24 or 32 or 52. So all these numbers will get added. So my total possibilities are 24. So this becomes my answer. So in this video, we have seen the problems on digits. In the next video, we will be dealing with problems on circular arrangements as far as permutation and combination is concerned. If you want me to make videos on certain specific topics, do mention in the comment section and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel thank you so much